Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve Markov by Yoshi Baroshi, and I'll give you all my expert Sudoku tips, tricks, and strategies as I apply them. I'll explain them all to you. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, this puzzle, it looks like a beetle or something to me. I'm not sure what kind of boss Markov is from Hollow Knight, but uh, let's look in here. I can't really play anything with the ones. Let's look at the twos. I got two spots for two here in block six. Uh, only three spots for two there. Can't make a mark there. And I don't see anything else I can do with the twos. With the threes, though, I see that I can place the threes right here because of the threes in rows two and three and columns seven and nine. Uh, three spots for three here in block five. I won't mark that. Three spots for three here. And let's see. I do only have two spots for three in block seven. Nice. Let's look at the fours. It looks like um, four, four, two spots for four right there. So I can mark that as a four. And three spots for four. I'm not going to mark that. Two spots for four here down in block nine. I'll make that mark and move on to the fives. I got three fives here in the middle. Can I do anything with that? Uh, and I got two fives here. So yeah, I can actually solve for a five right there. Nice. And let's we'll see if there's any other markings I can make. Okay, we have a pointing pair of fives right there. So see how the five comes across row one and it comes up here. I want two spots left for a five here in block two, which means this spot right there can't be a five. The fives have to be in one of these two spots in block uh, one. Uh, in case you're wondering, these, these, these two little notes, the fives, that's called standard notation. If there's only any time you only have two possibilities for a candidate and a block, I'll mark that. In case you solve one of these cells, you can immediately solve the other one. It makes it a little bit quicker when you do the solving. Okay, six is uh, three spots for six there. Oh, actually, I can solve for six right there because I see these two sixes. Great, and I can solve that for six, which makes this a two. Nice, and now I have a six and a six. Uh, I have a six coming across row nine, so that's going to be a six. Two spots for six there, two spots for six up here. Okay, great. And I'm making like this nice wall here. I'll mark that. It looks like it's just a one, two in column one, and that's just a one, two. I can't solve those yet, but I'll just mark them. Uh, sevens, three spots for seven in bl uh, block one, but I'm not going to mark that. Three spots there, three spots there. Um, but hey, it looks like. Um, that's just a seven eight, and this is a seven eight. Alrighty, and because the four, these fours become a pointing pair. So a pointing pair means that the four can only be in these two spots in block six. So the four can't be in any other spots across this row, right? Because it has to be somewhere in block six. So that's no longer a four. We can solve this for a four. I love it. Um, and I'm going to deviate a little bit. And so this is just a 1 8. So I'm looking at this uh, row 5. And I put a 1 7 8. And I, you know, if I can, I'll, if I can, you know, mostly fill out a block, I'll mark the candidates to kind of help me see what else I need to solve there. Uh, all right. But with the 7s, kind of get back on track. Um, I will finish off block 6. Okay, sevens, eights, eight, eight, two spots for an eight down here. I'll mark that. And got an eight coming across row two. So two spots for an eight up high. And it looks like the nine's doing the same thing. So that's actually a hidden pair of eight, nine, which is cool. All right. So that's a hidden pair of eight, nine, which means this has to be your one and that has to be your seven because of the one right there. Great, and so then that's no longer a seven. And we have a four, eight, looks like a four, eight, nine. I will finish off column seven by doing that. Four, seven, eight, nine, seven and eight, four, eight, nine. Hey, I can solve. That's a seven. That's an eight. That's a seven. That's no longer a seven. But now we have a four, eight, naked pair right there. Uh, get rid of that eight. This is gonna be a four, nine. Four eight eight nine, sweet. And when I can get rid of this seven right there, so now we have a one eight and one eight. And then what's coming across row three? Since this is a four and eight naked pair, 
Uh, 4 and 8 can't be anywhere else in row 4. So it has to be a 1, a 3, or a 7. I see the 7 right there. That has to be your 7. And this is going to be your a 1, 3, which makes this an 8. And then that's going to be a 1. Oh, this is way... This is going along really, really well here. So this is the 1 and the 3. This is going to be your 2. And then these three cells is kind of naked triple, right? Because uh, there's only three spots left in this row and this block. So it has to be a 3, 8, 9. I can see the 3 and the 8 there. So that's a 9. So this makes this a 3, 8 naked pair. Cool. Well, we're making really good progress in this puzzle. I'm enjoying it. All right. Uh, now I want to look for areas of the most restriction, which to me looks like row 2 right now. 2, 4, 5. That's got to be a 2, 4. That's got to be a 4, 5. Okay, and this is 2, 4, 5. Looks like, yep. Okay, what else can we solve here? Let's look across row 8. Because I only see a 1, 2, 5 left. And I see something kind of interesting here. So 1, 2, 5. That can't be a 2. And that can't be a 5. So that's a 1, 2. And what you have here, let's look at these three cells. Hi. No, that's a naked triple, right? 1, 2, and 5 are in those three spots here in the block. So it means that they can't be in these two cells. So this has to be, looks like a 3 and a 4. All right, cool. And so this is 3, 4, and that's 3, 4. So 3, 4, 4, 9, 4, 9, 3, 4. Interesting there. That's real interesting. 3, 4, 1, 3. Okay. Um, and what we got up here? This is a 1, 2, 4. And I'm just curious because I just wanted to finish column 3 there. 3, 4, a 1, 3, a 1, 2, 4. Okay. Uh, you know, these fives are one of those two spots. Just like these fives are one of these two spots right there. Uh, this is of note, and what it tells me, you know, we knew the fives couldn't be there. The fives are limited. The two spots here and the two spots here. All right, let's look at column six, since we have five cells filled in, column six. One, five, six, seven is what we're missing. So that's a one, six, seven, one, five, seven, okay. Uh, that's a 5, 6. All right, BVC, by value cell, looking good. And that's a 1, 7. Okay, also going to be helpful to us. All right. And let's see. Where else are there some restrictions that we can play with here? Um, oh, wow. This is weird. Okay. Something going on. This is... Wow, believe it or not, this is a continuous loop. What does that mean? All right, uh, I've covered this in my XY chain tutorial. At the end of it, there's the thing about continuous loops. I'll put a link to that tutorial right here. But basically, you see how this is a four, five, or you know, five, yeah, five, four, four, two, two, one, one, five. Right. So this, either this is a five. That's not a five. That'd be a five. This is a 4. If it's not a 4, that'd be a 4. This is a 2. If that's not a 2, this is a 2. And this is uh, a 1. If it's not a 1, that's a 1. So we can eliminate all the 4s across here that are not in those blocks. Right here, we can eliminate that 4. That can't be a 4 anymore because the 4 is going to be one of those blue squares. Just like we can eliminate all the 2s up and down here. I'll mark them as I needed. And we can eliminate all the 1s across here. So this can't be a 1. And we could eliminate any of the fives. We kind of already know there's no fives there. But this is really cool because, look, we just made a 2-5. Uh, make it bigger. So let's let's uh, get rid of the coloring here because I think this is going to help us solve this puzzle because now you can see, what is that? You know, that right there is now a 2-5 naked pair, which means that can't be a 2 anymore. So we can get rid of the 2 from right there, which creates another BVC, which is a 4, a 1, 4. Nice. Interesting. Wow, I, that's a neat place to, to put that, Yoshi. I wonder if that was the intended solve. That was kind of cool, looking uh, around 
uh, the Ben there. All right, we have a lot of buy value sales. I feel like I can do something with that. How can we make this work? How can we make this work? One, two, yes, see here. One, two, two, five, five, four, four, three, three, four. Let's look across row seven here. I'm going to maybe fill in some more. So we have a one, a two, seven, eight. So we're missing a three, three, four, five. Let's see, three, four, five, six, nine. Four, six, nine. So this is a three, five. Okay. Uh, and what's this cell going to be? Can't be a four or a five, so that's going to be a three, six, nine. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, what is that? I feel like this, this, this is giving us something here. What is it giving us? All right. Start here. One, four. Actually, start here. One, two, two, five, five, four, four, three, three, five. Five, six, okay. Yeah, I don't know what, what else that's supposed to give us. Huh. Three, five. I feel like there's something there. What is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, I don't know yet. Okay. I want to keep looking at some more of these XY chains because these are fun. I love solving these. I used to do a lot of my early videos involved XY chains. Uh, let's work up this aisle. So it looks like. Um, okay, what I'm noticing. I'll just say, like, this is a naked quad, actually. So let's use a different color. So you can see the one, three, four, five, or one of those four spots. And so that means these two spots have to be a seven or a nine. And that's one way of looking at it. Maybe if you saw the seven, nine coming across here and the seven, nine coming up there, you might have noticed it a little bit easier. But let's, let's put that seven, nine there. Okay. Nice. That's helping us solve this puzzle. Okay, cool. And so now we have that. Uh, this means these ones are now a pointy pair of ones. So we put the ones that means this can't be a one anymore. Nice. Okay. And then the ones are limited to these two spots in row three. Hopefully you see that the ones can no longer be across, you know, in block two and row one because they're only limited to those two spots. Now this. I feel okay. Okay, remember that chain I was working on before? I feel like we can get somewhere with it now. Uh, let's start right here. We go one to two, two to five, five to four, four to the two, two to the one, one to the seven. Yeah, that doesn't help me here. One to the two. Two to the five, five to the four, four to the three, three to the five, five to the six, six to the seven, seven to the one. Oh, okay. All right, this is a pretty long X, Y, I'll go through it again. So one to the two, and then two to the five, and five to the four, and four to the three, three to the five, five to the six, six to the seven, seven to the one. So either that's a one, or that's the one. This can't be a one. That has to be a two. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow, another XY chain Yoshi. Very, very cool. I love what you did there. Okay, we marked that four, so that has to be a three, that has to be four. This is going to disambiguate a lot of these BVCs for us. Nine, four, eight, four, eight, nine. Remember the seven nine up here? Nice, we got the four, so that's a five. That's a two. I think we hit that little thread that we needed to get this puzzle going. But man, it was a fun one. Really, really enjoy solving this. Okay, but well, we're not done yet. You know, there's still plenty of solving act here, so don't go away. Don't don't think, hey Timberlake, you got this down. I can I can go look at another puzzle. No, don't do that. 
All right, what do we got left up here? Two and an eight. Uh, I see the two in column five, so that's gotta be your eight. That's gotta be your two. Great, and what we got across here? One, five, seven. I see a five, seven, so that's your one. And this is gonna be a five, seven, and that's gonna be a five, seven, but we can get rid of that. I like cleaning that stuff up. Um, and now, there's only one, we got the six, so that's gotta be your five. That's gotta be your one, sweet. And then that's gonna be your seven, that's gonna be your five. All right, we got an eight up there in block two, so that's three, that's an eight. And we already saw the five in column four, so that's gotta be your three. And three nine, so that's gotta be your six. Okay, two spots left. All right, so there's your seven, and there's your nine. Check out these other solving videos where I did some great Yoshi Baroshi puzzles. Thank you, Yoshi, let me feature these puzzles. I'm enjoying this Hollow Knight um, theme meeting you got going on there. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much for watching.